Hi, Coach Lexi here, and this is the K of Parkour. In today's lesson, we are gonna do some ground flow using some QMs and rolls. We are gonna need to make sure we have some space today. If we have some sort of matting, like a rug or a carpet, a yoga mat, even a blanket or even a pillow, that'll be quite helpful. And we'll need one sturdy small object. It could be like an ottoman, it could be a chair, it could be a step stool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. We are going to do some wrist mobility and some neck mobility before we get into a little bit of some movement. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 flappers. Then we're gonna do 10 windshield wipers. Then we're gonna do 10 blinkers. We're gonna squeeze our hands and release them. Squeeze and release. Nice, we're gonna warm up our neck with a few movements. We're gonna first look up, then look down. We're gonna do this 10 times. Then we're gonna look left to right. We're gonna do this 10 times. Make sure you're not going too fast. Nice, we're gonna end our mobility with some neck circles. We're gonna make sure we're going slow, feeling out our neck. We're gonna go five one direction, five the other direction. Awesome, now that we got a little bit loose in our wrists and our neck, we're gonna do a few movements to get moving. So we're gonna do five bunny hops in place. We're gonna do five really good squats, thinking about keeping our chest up, our butt will come back, our heels stay on the ground, and our feet are shoulder width apart. Now we're gonna go ahead and do five rock and rolls. We're really gonna try to hold our knees to our chest, stay rounded as we rock back. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some rock backs, similar to that kind of rock and roll, but we're gonna stand on our feet. We're gonna squat down and get low. Then we're gonna rock back. Our goal here is to keep our head off the ground and stay rounded. We're gonna do five of those. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some QM and roll review before we get into that ground flow. Now we're gonna go ahead and review QMs. A reminder, QM stands for quadrupedal movement. So we're gonna be using our hands and feet to move around. Not our hands and our knees, not our hands and our stomach. We're gonna use our hands and our feet. We wanna make sure that our hands are in ready hand position. So they're spread out and they're gonna be flat on the ground. That way we can apply even pressure to the ground and we also don't hurt our wrists. We're gonna go through a few different QMs. We're gonna do two passes of each of these QMs. Our first one being the side gorilla. I like to go hands then feet when I'm doing my side gorilla and really thinking about placing my hands down lightly, applying pressure to my hands and then landing on my feet lightly. The second QM that we have is bear walk. I want us to think about trying to keep our butt in the air, our arms and our legs straight as possible. I like to have my legs in a straddle position to make it easier to move around. Then we have a ground comp. We're gonna think about keeping our knees on the inside with our hands on the outside. We're gonna think about going hands and bringing our feet to our hands. Then we have catwalk. One of the more difficult QMs because we wanna take it slow. We're thinking about having a flat back. Our shins are parallel to the ground. We're going to alternate hand and foot. And our last QM is a crab walk. 
When we crab walk, we wanna make sure that we are having our flat hands and keeping our heels on the ground. Now we're gonna go ahead and review our rolls. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we are comfortable rolling or we have a good space to do so. I'm gonna review a few different rolls and I want us to do each roll about two or three times. But if there's a roll that we feel is not safe for us today, that is okay, we can go ahead and skip that roll. Our very first roll is our shoulder roll. When we shoulder roll, we wanna make sure that we're placing our hands down first. We're gonna roll from the top of our shoulder all the way across to our bottom hip or our butt. Our goal here is to make sure that we protect our head, neck, and our spine in this roll. We also are going to do a backward shoulder roll. We're gonna think about looking up with our hands and rolling backwards. When we roll backwards in our shoulder roll, we wanna look at our toes and make sure our feet land first, not our knees. Then we're gonna go ahead and do an egg roll. This roll can be used if we don't feel comfortable doing a shoulder roll and going over our head. This is more to the side, but it is still applicable and can be used during our ground flow. Now that we've gone over all our QMs and also the rolls that we could do, we're gonna go ahead and do some ground flow. Our goal with our ground flow is to use our QMs and rolls. We're gonna start by trying to connect two of those together. Whether it's two QMs, a QM and a roll, we're going to practice that three or four times. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our sturdy object, whether it's the chair, the ottoman, that step stool, and we're gonna go ahead and move with that as well. We're gonna to try to piece together four or five movements and really get down those four to five movements. After that, go ahead and just flow for three to four minutes, doing whatever moves you want. Maybe they don't connect as well, but our goal is to see if we can use those QMs and the rolls to get a flow going. Feel free to add in any moves that involve the ground or using your sturdy object that might be some butt spins, maybe some palm spins as well. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure to follow us on YouTube along with our Instagram page, and I hope to see you in my next class.